Think of the S5 as an A5 but with more power, sportier looks, and tweaks to the chassis to make it more dynamic. It's a rival to the BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe M440i. As a plus, the S5 is one of Audi's most handsome models. We like its mix of performance, comfort and utility. It's also well built and offers a great suite of tech features. Performance is good too, with a 4.3 second sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour earning this car the S in its name. Though not quite as potent as the full-bore RS5, the S5 has plenty of thrills to offer. Under the hood is a turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 good for 349 horsepower and 369 lbft of torque, which our test team found more than adequate for accelerating the S5 quickly and in relative comfort. Performance can be further enhanced by adding the S Sport package, which brings adaptive dampers and a specially tuned rear differential that makes the all-wheel drive car feel more like a rear-wheel drive car in corners. See our expert rating below for more on the S5's performance credentials, we tested an S5 Sportback, which is the four-door hatchback. There's plenty of power from the turbocharged V6 even if it's not immediately explosive off the line. Once on the move, acceleration is swift, steady and satisfying. In Edmunds track testing, our S5 Sportback test car was able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a rapid 4.3 seconds. The brakes work well to bring all that speed to a halt. Offering relatively fade-free performance in dynamic situations, but they're equally easy and smooth acting during a casual commute, the S5 is capable around corners too. Our car came equipped with the optional S Sport package. It helps blend the best of all-wheel drive traction with the nimble feeling of a rear-wheel drive car. The S5's dynamic steering also feels well-matched to whatever drive mode setting you're in. Getting in and out of the S5 Sportback's front seats is easy. If you're on the taller side, you might have to duck to get into the rear seats due to the sloping roofline. There's a good amount of room for front occupants plus plenty of adjustment range for the driver. The rear seats are decent in terms of comfort and space for two adults up to about 5 foot 10 or so. Audi's S5 Sportback doesn't have the dual touchscreen interface that the newer Audis have, but that could be a good thing for some people. Most interior controls are clear, logically placed, and consistent in look and feel. The menu structure for both the digital instrument panel and the touchscreen menu system takes a few uses to learn. Though, visibility out of the front is decent. The over-the-shoulder view is a bit compromised due to the sport back design and the thick rear roof pillars. The available surround view camera system definitely helps when you're backing out of parking spaces. The S5, 2025 Audi S5, release date is summer 2024 and estimated price is $59,000. The EPA estimates the S5 Sportback gets 23 miles per gallon in combined driving, keeping it in line with the class. On our mixed driving evaluation route, we observe 23.5 miles per gallon, indicating the EPA's numbers are realistic. Naturally, more spirited driving could result in fuel economy falling into the mid to high teens. The following unofficial information is based on last year's S5. We expect the 2025 model will have a very similar lineup and we'll update this video once we have complete information. The Audi S5 is a compact luxury car available in premium, premium plus and prestige trim levels and packs a turbocharged 3.0 liter V6 engine, 349 horsepower, 369 lbft of torque, an 8-speed automatic transmission and an all-wheel drive system. Keep reading for a rundown of the S5's most significant features and options. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the CarArt channel for more videos, thanks again for watching videos.